there, guys. It's Rick Yusey here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews, and where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Today's video is right out of the comments, guys. We're going to tune the Avenger Bullpup. So before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Pyramid Air. They absolutely said, go for it. When I told them about the response we had on a video for the Avenger Bullpup, and then I asked you guys, would you like to see how to tune it, set it up, and so forth? And you guys said, oh yeah, we'd love it. And I said, hey, what do you think? And they said, go for it. We think that's a great idea. So huge thank you to Pyramid Air for covering the cost of the video production and us getting out here and doing this work. So remember, if you guys want some cool airgun stuff, you gotta check them out, www.pyramidair.com. They have been a supporter of Airgun Web from the very beginning, and they continue to support us right through, gosh, I don't know how many years now, 14 years, give or, give or take a bit. It's been a while. So super thank you to those guys. So what are we doing today? Um, we are taking our stock bull pup, um, Avenger bull pup here. And we're going to, first thing we do is get a baseline. Um, and then we're going to degas it and set the reg. We're also going to take a look at what kind of uh, hammer spring adjustment might be necessary. And it's a balancing act. So I'm, I may kind of shorthand a little of this because the whole process from start to finish takes a while. This is not something that's like a super quick thing and there's lots of filling in between and testing and flies everywhere. <laughs> um, so I may, I may shorthand some of this, but I think by the end of it, you guys will get a good idea of how to set up your, how to set up your gun for optimal performance. Now, my gun shipped with the reg set right around 180-ish, 190-ish uh, bar, which is a little hot for 22. I think looking at the manual, that's uh, 25, 2400 PSI. That's a lot, but just for a, a reference. Um, CO2 is 900 PSI, which is not enough. Uh, you go to like the Gauntlet, for example, the original Gauntlet, which was a fairly decently decent powered gun it's about 13 1400 and then they went up to 19 or 2100 so they're maxing out at about 2100 psi this is like well above that which is a lot now if you want that extra headroom you're going to shoot slugs or heavier pellets you know having that on tap is great you know i have no complaints there but if you're not going to use it you're just wasting air so um, remember that the way our reg is going to work is that our regulator is set at a pressure, our tank is set at a pressure. So let's say we're at 2600 PSI factory or 2500 PSI factory plus or minus. If we start at like uh, 43, 100 PSI, you're gonna get from 43 down to 25. But if you can shoot as well with the same power, maybe even better accuracy, let's just say you've tuned it and you're at 1900 PSI, which is I think about where we're gonna wind up, just spoiler alert, I haven't done it yet, but that's my guess. Um, then you've got another 500 PSI to shoot with. So that may be another mag, mag and a half. So you get more shot count. So really we're talking about balancing power, efficiency, and accuracy. And that goes between, um, you know, tank pressure, reg pressure, um, hammer spring. There's a lot there. Uh, fortunately, and what makes this gun and the Avenger, the rifle so cool is that you don't have to take the gun apart to do any of it. You don't have to take bottles off. It, there are adjustments on the outside of the gun that allow you to do this, which is just stinking awesome. So first thing we need to do is let's shoot it like we got it. Um, looking at the manual, they say that about factory is theoretically, according to if you want to put it back to factory spec, and again, you know, pull up your manual out, read it. It's very helpful. Um, about 180 bar and three turns in on the hammer spring should be factory 422. Um, mine wasn't set that way. It was set about 190 bar. So I'm, I'm good there and I'm sitting over here. No, I, I guess I am, 
Now I'm, I'm right at about 190 bar. Um, 185, 190. So I'm a little bit hot on the reg and my hammer spring was all the way out. So it had no pressure on the hammer spring, which is kind of odd. So I don't know what's up with that, but we're going to start with exactly what we have and then make our modifications from there. Because if you don't have a good starting point, you don't know if you've made any improvements. So let me go ahead and put this in the crony. We'll be right back and we'll start taking some first shots. All right, so we've got a fresh string. We're all set here. I got three. Today we're just going to shoot the JSBs, by the way. So ideally what we're going to do here is I think once we get the hammer spring set, that's going to be fine. Um, we're going to actually tune the gun for each of the pellets we tested before. So they shot all shot very well, but I want to see if we tune it, does it better? <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to start off with the AT-13s. Again, we're just going to get a baseline. And I'm also shooting with the AT and Optic today. This is the LTV. The reason I'm using this is I want to see if we get that, um, you know, the, the instability in flight. Uh, see if I can capture any of that so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at. Um, we're shooting at 30 yards, about 31 yards actually. So we're not trying to stretch this out real far. Um, I think that's 30 or it might be 25 yards. Let me get my, let me get my range finder. Let's see here. I think we're, that looks more like 25. And it is. Okay, so we're 25 yards today, which is fine. We're not trying to stretch this out. We're trying to dial a gun in. Okay. We are right there. Okay, so let's take a shot. First thing I'm gonna do is come up on the hammer spring until it till we don't get any more increase in power and i'll probably just leave it there and now uh, manual says about three turns should be it we'll see um, let me start the recording all right and i do not know where we're gonna hit so i just put this on okay okay we did not get a register just because it didn't connect okay let me connect it we'll take another shot and we're just a little bit to the right so um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust using the one shot zero which gosh I love that uh, we'll just scooch over down a little bit and we'll try that okay hopefully we'll get a reg we'll get a shot register here I uh, don't remember if I cocked it we'll try just take a shot here I didn't okay Okay, we'll take another shot. I just filled this, so we'll give it a couple shots for the reg to settle, and then we'll adjust the hammer spring. 870. 877. Okay, one more. Okay, it's pretty consistent. We're going to go up on the hammer spring. I'm going to move uh, one full turn. Um, in the book, uh, it says three turns is about factory. It's about 100 PSI, uh, excuse me, 100 FPS for a single turn. I don't think we're getting that much out of it. Also, from all the way out to all the way in, and I go half turn. So if I'm start it like there, I go count that as one, and then back as two. So I get 11 half turns just how I do it. Um, so let's go ahead and do one full turn. One, two, okay. And let's cock it. All right. Let's see if, what that does to our velocity. 
The lot. Give it a shot. Nine hundred five. Okay, let's go up one more. One, two. So it's another full turn. We're two, two turns in now on the hammer spring. Nine hundred thirty-two. Okay, less of a difference, right? Nine hundred thirty. Okay. Let's go one more. One, two. How many shots we have left? Couple, I think. Nine hundred thirty-nine. Okay, we're not going anywhere now. We could probably back off the hammer spring. Nine hundred thirty-five. Okay. Last yeah. Last bullet. Uh, we're actually out. New string. I'm gonna save that actually. All right. Let's take a look at the numbers real quick. Uh, we started off at eight seventy. We got three shots. Eight seventy, eight seventy-seven, eight seventy-five. That's all the way out. We went in a turn, and we hit nine nineteen and nine o five. We went in another turn. We hit nine thirty-two and nine thirty. We in the third turn and we're at 939, 935. I don't think there's any benefit to try going further. In fact, I would probably come out a turn. Now, we could go up with the reg, but let's let's actually put this at two, two turns in on the hammer spring. I think it's a good balance. And then we're going to um, we'll shoot one mag, see what our consistency is like. And then we're going to degas the gun, reset the reg, and then start low, and then work our way up. So that's sort of the process I use. We'll tune the hammer spring first, which we've done. Uh, well, we'll back off one. And we'll shoot a mag, again, for consistency. And then we're going to try and dial in the reg. Um, also, we'll make some minor adjustments. If you noticed, as we got faster, the pellet started to kind of climb to the uh, high right. So we'll have to bring that into, well, we'll see. I'm not going to do any big adjustments because we're not... Not there yet. Okay, here we go. Um, let's back out one. One, two, okay. Okay, we are doing good on pressure. Excellent. All right, let's go to, um, oh, we're gonna do a new string. Um, We are connected. All right, so we're just going to shoot straight here, uh, just as she sits, and let's see what we get for accuracy. I'm not going to try and bring it to center. I just want to see what we get for accuracy. So top left bull. 946. Okay.
Okay. Definitely, definitely settled down nicely. We had like a real high first shot. We'll just call that an oopsie, anomaly, whatever. Uh, 35 foot pounds, give or take. So 34.5, 34.7. Yeah, I mean, this is very, very good. Take that one out of the, out of the equation and we're at 926. Now, as the low would be 923, high would be 930, which is what, seven feet per second. Come on, that'll work. And we're sitting at about 30, about 3,800 PSI. So we got a lot of room to go. Um, really, I, I would personally be really happy with that. 930 is about where I'd want to be shooting here. But let's go through the process, right? Let me go ahead and stop this recording. Okay. So we are now sitting at, what do we do next? Well, I hate to waste all that air, but we gotta de-gas the gun. Um, if you check your manual, you can increase your reg without degassing. You have to degas the gun if you wanna decrease the reg. The other thing we're gonna do is, I'll show you, I'll take a picture with my phone, but there, there's two holes under here. One is the degassing screw, which you leave in the gun, you crack it, degas, it takes it a little bit. And then the other one is the reg. And you screw it all the way in until it stops and back out a quarter turn. That's the lowest part of the reg. Now the beauty is, once you gas the gun up again, it's awesome because you can just actually watch the reg pressure turn up as you turn the screw. So it's really cool. You'll want to kind of bring it up, maybe just under where you want to be. Take a few shots, see if it settles down. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start, probably start at like 1,500 PSI. That's where I want to start, and we'll see where we're hitting, uh, see what we're doing. And I mean, the hammer spring, I think we're good to go in the hammer spring. Um, but I'm probably going to start at 1,500, and then we'll just walk our way up. And we'll go, we'll overshoot. So if we hit like 930 at wherever we are and we'll go a little past that, if we don't really increase velocity, we're pretty much maxed out. We're at max efficiency. But let's see what happens. Okay, first thing we got to do, let me go and save this. Okay. So up under here, you have two screws. Let me take a picture. That looks great, actually. The back one is our degasser, so I need a bigger one. That's a three mil, looks like. Let me grab a three mil. I'll put it back. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just degas it. So you go backwards with it. Just make sure she's empty. All right, now we'll seal it back up. <laughs> you have to make sure you close that bleeder. If you don't, you go put air in it and you wonder why you can't fill your gun. Well, that's why. The next one, you need a kind of a long flat head. We're gonna screw in the reg all the way. And I'm gonna do my same, I'm gonna do my sort of thing again. I'll go half turns. Just wanna see how far out it was. One. Oh, it was, it was not even out a full turn. All right, so we're all the way in. We're going to come back out a quarter turn to the manual, which is right there. It's like three quarters of the way out is what it was. Now we got to fill it. So I'm going to go grab my tank bag and get it started. Get it topped off as far as I can with the tank. Then I'll use my little compressor to get it to 300 bar, and we'll see where our reg's sitting. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. I have about 250 bar in the tank here, so we'll get most of the way there.
Okay. Let's see where we're at on our pressure, and I'll tell you where we are on our reg. Okay. Okay, on our pressure, we're sitting at 20 or 220 bar, 230 bar. And on our reg, we are whew, about 1600. Maybe not quite, let's see. No, we are at 10. I think we're about 1600 PSI. So I'm gonna to top this off the rest of the way. And I'll be right back and we will get started on uh, tuning the reg from here. Okay, what fun. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and shoot a full mag just to let the reg settle. I think I saved this, if not, I'll save it anyway. We'll do a new string, okay. And this one is going to be, I'm gonna change the name. Um, uh, let's see, Min Reg. Min Reg, cool. Connect, oh, shut off on me. There we go. Cool. All right, and we have a mag here. We have plenty of air. And if I look over here at our reg, we are, came up a little bit. Now it's still two, four, six, it's like 1600 PSI. Let's see what we're getting. We'll shoot a full, full mag and then we'll adjust. We want that, we want to give that reg plenty of time to sort of uh, adjust itself, get, get dialed in. And we'll film this too. Second bull on the left. Let's see how far she drops. If at all, we don't know yet. <laughs> Safety. Okay. 886. Okay. Um, we were up around 2600 PSI. Now we're down at 1600 PSI. If it stays there, we only drop 50 feet per second. That's a lot of air that you could have left over for more shots. If we bring this up to like low nines, I think we're gonna be in good shape. Let's take some more shots. Well, let's see. It's coming down. 861. Okay. Empty magazine. Okay. So after the reg settled down, so we had a couple shots, 886, 870, then it hit 854, and then it settled in. So from 854 to like 861 or 863, so about nine feet per second spread. Um, we're 30 foot pounds, give or take a little bit. So we dropped four foot pounds and we are still over 4,000 PSI. Now, this is why I would say if you have the time and a crony to tune your gun, you can find this really cool balance of enough power, stability, 
and, and increase shot count. Like we could crank this to 11, right? Turn the hammer spring all the way up, waste a ton of air, and you'd be and be completely inefficient. And maybe maybe we hit that 950, 960, 970 feet per second, but you're probably gonna get two mags, right? I don't know how many shots we're gonna get out of this, but that would be one of the tests I would do. Let's just say, um, is do a shot count test at this point. In fact. The, I'm not going to do that. It's sort of the, this goes to the shorthand I talked about earlier. That would just take too long. But you guys get the idea. If you have time, a beautiful day like this, go ahead and do a shot count. Um, if you get 50 or 60 shots and you've got great accuracy, do you need another 50 feet per second? Maybe you don't, right? All right, so we are sitting at uh, 4,000 psi, and our reg has, hasn't budged. So I'm gonna bring the reg up. Um, I think I'm gonna try and get it to 2,000 PSI. And I think that's, I think that's really gonna be where we wanna be. Hold on just a second. Okay, now here's, so here's the cool part. We'll go back here, now we're good to go. Here's the cool part. So, and I wish I could set up a camera for you guys to see this. I can take this and I can go onto this reg screw and we're going to go counterclockwise increases the, the pressure, okay? So I'm going to go like a teeny little bit. And then check it. I move just a teeny bit. All right, we'll do just a little bit more. I'm doing like eighth turns here. So we're gonna do like another eighth turn. So it would be about three eighths turns. Okay. Oh, we're, oh, I'm gonna go a little bit more, maybe half a turn is where we needed to be. Bring us up to 2000 PSI. Okay, we're gonna shoot there. I'm probably like at 1900. Let's shoot there. And let's let the reg settle in. Fill my mags up here. So I'm gonna fill these mags, I'll be right back. Okay, and done. Okay. Um, let me take a picture of this reg. It looks like it may have settled in just over two. Oh, it's like maybe like, 2,050 PSI, all right. I think it, it, it's not so precise that that's gonna matter. Um, I would want it to be just under two though, that's all right, we'll be okay. We're gonna call it 2,000 PSI. Let's see where we're hitting. Let's see what we're doing here. All right, we're gonna move down to the next pole. Um, we've got, we're connected, we're gonna be recording. Oh, hello. I'm gonna zoom in one more bump. Okay, here we go. Nine hundred thirty-nine. Okay. If it holds there, if you guys remember, we were like 2,600, 2,500 psi. Now we're at two, and we were 939 before, right? So let's see if it holds. Big drop. Nine hundred nine. I can live with nine oh nine. Nine hundred twelve. Nine hundred nine. Nine hundred nine. 
909 last bullet Nine hundred seven empty magazine. Okay. Um, nine oh seven to nine twelve. Take the first shot out. Uh, so five foot per second spread. Uh, I'm gonna just go with that, guys. I don't see where I would want to actually try and adjust for more. I'm gonna have. Uh, a lot of shots. I mean, a lot of shots on tap. I mean, we're 20 in. Let's do. Let's do another mag. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the scope, and we'll shoot two more mags. We'll shoot two more mags and see how it settles out. But to me, this team seems to be about the sweet spot. I am at right at 2,000 on the reg. The reg is like locked at two, and I think that's beautiful. I've got two turns in on the hammer spring. I'm at 2,000 PS on the reg. I'm gonna get 40, 50, maybe 60 shots per fill. I'm pushing 33 foot pounds, so I dropped a foot pound off of what we had, like sort of factory with the hammer spring adjustment. Sorry, I hate those flies. To me, that's awesome. The thing that is super awesome is we did all of this with a $400 gun and never had to take it apart. freaking cool <laughs> let's let's go ahead and adjust the scope i'll go ahead and record this i love the one shot zero stuff it's awesome all right so we're going to go over to zeroing and i don't know if i can i zoom no well, how do i zoom i want to zoom uh, oh well i don't know if i can zoom it's all right we're going to just go a little bit to the right A little bit up. That's pretty good. Fifteen power. Okay. Uh, let's do it. New string. All right. So let's get a twenty-shot string. So we'll finish out our mags here, and we'll see how she's doing. Bottom bowl. Let's see if I can hold still. Nine hundred thirty-five. Wow, that's a big drop. Nine hundred. Eight hundred ninety-five. Eight hundred ninety-five. Eight hundred eighty-one. Oh. Felt myself screw that shot up. Sorry. Nine hundred two. Eight hundred eighty eight. Eight hundred ninety five. Last bullet. Eight hundred eighty eight. Okay. Empty magazine. Not as consistent. It really dropped. I don't like that. All right, top right. Just gonna keep right on rolling here. Nine hundred five. Eight hundred ninety-eight. Nine 
I'm happy. You guys want to do another mag? Let's see what we got for pressure. We're 3,000 PSI. So we've got, I don't know what, 30 rounds in it? We've got 30, I guess, 30? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess we got 30 so far. 40? I don't know. I'll have to go back to tape. Let's do more. All right, let's, let's drill another one. Still recording. Going to go down to the next pool. 909. Um, we can get another mag. We absolutely could get another mag. Let's do it. Why not, right? <laughs> We're here. Cameras are rolling. Flies are buzzing. I need those flies to go land on the target. Let's do another mag. So we're 30 shots in there. Let's, let's, let's roll it. Let's roll it to more. I think personally, I would probably back off the hammer spring. Maybe half a turn. Um, I wonder if I should do that. We're still over the reg. I'm going to save this actually. I'm going to come off the hammer spring half a turn. Uh, different one. Two and a half. Okay. New string. All right. Because we had, had we had set the hammer spring for the higher pressure. Now we're at a lower pressure. Let's see. Let's see if it matters. Um, we're gonna just move our move move down here. Um, let's see what the first shot does. See if it goes high again. Nine hundred. Eight hundred 
We're right at two, and we're maybe like 2,200. Our regs dropped a little bit, which means we're probably out of that optimal range. We probably should put air in the gun at this point. Um, I got a little sloppy on that last group. Um, that's probably more me than the gun. But if we're looking at those groups, they were tighter. We're, we're going a little faster. So reality, probably 920 is where we want to be, I'm thinking. Um, probably need to go up a little bit. Uh, just looking ob objectively at those groups, um, I think like when we were shooting 930s, 920s, groups were tighter. I did get one really good group upper right, um, and that oh, those are pretty good too. I don't know. I think just a fraction better with a little more velocity. So would I maybe turn this up? Maybe, maybe I go to 2100, bring my hammer spring back up, see where that's hitting. But I think you guys get the idea, right? So we've been here, I don't know, a while <laughs> I'm doing this. You can spend a good half a day, day, days fine tuning your rifle. The cool thing about this or the Avenger, and I'm assuming the new Avenger X is gonna have similar awesomeness to it. We never had to take the gun apart. The worst part about this is you got to drain it to lower the reg. That's minor. I got my little personal compressor. I could top it off. No big deal. So personally, I think I'm going to take a little more time off camera and dial this in just a little bit more. Probably like to see it sitting low nines. I think, frankly, I got better consistency there. Um, but you guys get the idea. You guys get the process. You see how to do it. It's trial and error, you come out here, you absolutely gotta have a chronograph. So if you don't have a chronograph and you think you're gonna tune your gun, just stop, go buy a chronograph. Um, I really like the FX chronograph because I can shoot at anything and I'm gonna get my, um, my reading versus say like the Pro Chrono Digital Deluxe, which I love that one too for the reporting, um, but it's, it's not attached to the gun, so you gotta shoot right over it and anyway more environmental concerns with that than say with the FX. Um, I really hate flies. <laughs> but you guys, you guys really get the idea. I'm stoked. That, that gun fly. All right. <laughs> Again, you guys get the idea. I'm stoked to be able to show you guys how this works. We did the same thing. Uh, we're going to grab um, the next video. We'll go ahead and grab the H&Ns and see if this setting works or if we need to tweak it up down a little bit. Um, but I think I'm going to dial this to 920 um, and kind of that's where I'm going to be shooting for because we were at 880 something before out of the box. I think coming up just a little bit, but with more efficiency, it's going to be the sweet spot. Guys, that's going to be it. Again, I want to say super huge thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring this video, sponsoring Ergon Web and letting us do this kind of work. I hope this has been useful for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope now that you go, if you don't have an Avenger, you go buy one or put a pre-order in for the Avengex and get ready to do some awesome air gun tuning because this is a ton of fun. It's what air gunning is all about. So if you want to learn more about Pyramid Air, check them out at their website, www.pyramidair.com. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school air gun reviews where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.